We are just about ready to get underway here in game two of the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. 2K Sports brings it to you live once again. This is Kevin Harlan. We've got Chris Weber and Greg Anthony with us. And from the sideline, we'll be hearing from David Aldridge. We've got the Utah Jazz facing Seattle. Taking a look at Seattle. Tough loss for them in game one. We'll see if they can rally back in front of their hometown crowd to tie the series. And, and, and this virtually becomes a must win after that loss in game one. You almost never see a team drop the first two at home and go on to win a playoff series. And checking out Utah's opening lineup. Mitchell is the two with Ingles at the three. Parker out there with Rudy Gobert. And it's Exum in at the one spot. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. A shot by Carter. Nobody around. Buries the long-range jumper. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Exum dishes to Gobert. Pass to Mitchell. Back to Exum. On the wing, Ingles. Just four to shoot. From 17 feet out. And Henson pulls it down. Now look, even if you had other places to go with the ball, that's a good You can't play just to let that one. And here it's Powell. They grab their own miss. And it's Green missing. A fantastic effort on D to get up in his face and deny the layup. Mitchell finds Exum. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. Barrett the pass to Powell. Now, here's Barrett. Floats one, and it's good on the way in. Making plays in traffic. This is where Barrett's most effective. Exum kicks to Mitchell. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, that's because he's getting his number called early. I mean, he's doing his part to help carry the offensive role. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. First, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Carter looking around. Green kicks to Barrett. As to Henson, five on the clock. Foul for three. He's now one for two with that bucket. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Exum dishes to Mitchell. Fires the three, and that comes off the assist by Exum. Exum's got three assists tonight. Mitchell's gone three for four from the floor tonight. There at the pass to Powell. Here's Henson, covered by Mitchell. Here's Barrett. That one, no good. Now the Jazz take it the other way. To the paint. Kicks it out to Mitchell. And again, it's the Jazz from deep. Oh, they tailored their offense around him. And let me tell you, he loves playing in the system. Powell, the pass to Barrett. Back to Powell. And there's the pass to Barrett. Seattle needs to get off the shot. From deep, three-point range. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Utah leading by three. Guy is a potent offense right now. You know what, guys? And they're playing with a certain amount of assuredness in their game. That type of confidence is what leads teams to having success. Here's Barrett following the basket by Donovan Mitchell. And the first time out of the game called for Seattle. 
On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah, Seattle's head coach and I did get the chance to chat. I asked him how they're going to respond after giving away home court advantage in game one. The coach said, hey, that was the last game. That's in the past. We're focused on the present and simply executing to the best of our abilities tonight. But he did admit, Kevin, that another loss here would paint a very grim picture going forward. Back to you. Thank you, David. left to play in the first. Now Powell. They get the rebound. Henson. That one's off. Still out of sync. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. Yeah, Greg, that's just great defense. Forcing his man into a difficult attempt. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. Yeah, yeah, and, and Greg, they've been a more cohesive team over this stretch, and that helps account for their lead. Now here's Paul. Outside, Green. Shot clock at five. Launches it. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Yeah, they got that one, but early on, it's, it's really been a struggle for them to secure that defensive backboard. Utah gets it back. He dishes it to Parker. Great tee that time from Green. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D. Avoiding fouling and, and gotten the perfect position to alter the shot. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Here's Parker and the dunk by Parker. You talk about heart. Parker is no stranger at battling through constant challenge. I mean, it's what's good to find his career. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. So far, he has done an admirable job of doing this. And Barrett gets it to go. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Donovan Mitchell firing on all cylinders for the Utah Jazz. What an amazing quarter. There was absolutely no stopping him. Right back after this break. Glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. And guys, from what we've been watching with the Jazz, what are you guys seeing out there? You got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. No question. It's been stifling thus far, preventing that offense from establishing any kind of rhythm. Seattle trails by seven. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. So on the four for Utah. Crowder is the four, and Gobert is the five. Then it's Anthony. Then it's Donovan Mitchell, and it's Jerome, and at the one. Clock is at three. Jackson misses. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. There's Jerome, and it's sent back by Plumley. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Plumley. It's stolen by Carter. Two on one as they jump out on the break. Barrett, no good. I mean, that can happen to anyone, but it's ugly every time it does. Oh, man, you just want to go find some place to hide, man. It's almost impossible to miss that. Now here's Jackson following the miss by Carmelo Anthony. Plumley with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Carter. Anthony with the defensive effort. Jazz leading by seven. Fires the three. That shot no good. 
They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Carter kicks to Jackson. And he's good on the three ball. Jackson's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Jerome passes to Gobert. Outside Anthony. The 17-footer. And it's Seattle with the rebound. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on it. Here's Barrett. The shot missing. Gobert with the defensive effort. And until he starts knocking down some shots, I don't think the deficit's going to get me some. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Well, the big reason why they're in front is because they've been able to limit mistakes like that one. Carter outside. It's stolen by Anthony. To the middle. Jerome, good. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Barrett kicks to Jackson. Some nice ball movement here by Seattle. And the shot is good. The Utah lead has been cut down to just four points with a bucket from Barrett. Uh, an effective mid-range score. Barrett excels at finding openings in the defense and capitalizing. This is it to Mitchell. Here's Jerome. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. Jerome's gone two or three from the floor. Barrett with the ball. Now defended by Mitchell. Jackson passes to Barrett. Shot clock at six. Pass to Johnson for three. The shot, no good. Now the Jazz take it the other way. Here's Jerome. Excellent D there by Johnson. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. Well, that's why he's out there right now. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. Utah with the ball. Four-point game. Jerome passes to Anthony. Fires for three. But they get it there. Here's Gobert. No points in the game yet for him. Here's Mitchell. Off target from outside. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for Seattle. Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. Here's Jerome. Cans it from short range. Jerome's got six points. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining time buckets out, out. from inside. Seattle calls timeout. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Checked in for Johnson. Luwawu Cabarro comes in for Jackson. And Antonio Blakeney is subbed in for Cook. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jabari Parker. That's his first foul. Plumwood is just a green. Here's Barrett. He's now made half of those 10 shots in the game. It's his fifth basket. He's got the hot hand right now. As long as he can keep getting open, they've got to keep feeding him. Exum finds Parker. Back to Exum. Six to shoot. No good on the three. Seattle trails by four. 36 seconds left to play here in the half. 
right wing. Let's it go with the three. And Barrett with the basket on the assist from Plumlee. Barrett's got nine points now in the quarter. And well, like a lot of young players, Barrett's working hard to become proficient from range. And here is Parker. Over to the left wing. Three-pointer. Got it. Nice one there from Exum. Exum's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And that's it for the first half of action in what's been a very close game here. Utah out in front, up by four. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Round one action of the playoffs continuing on 2K Sports. Glad to have you with us for the halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jeff Smith. Well, for the Jazz, getting out to a 2-0 lead in the series would mean so much to them. And it looks like this game could go down to the wire trying to achieve that goal. This game is definitely still up for grabs the way these two teams are battling. And uh, Kenny, what you see out there from the Jazz? I love the motion on offense. Guys are moving, the ball is moving. It's a very nice approach to the game. And one the defense absolutely could not keep up with. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. Well, uh, they spent a lot of time away from the basket offensively. They need to get in the paint, Ernie. Whether it's running the offense to the low post or on dribble drive, pick and rolls, get into the paint. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. NBA playoff round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. It's been one outstanding game from Donovan Mitchell. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, slicing through the gaps in the defense. I mean, getting many of his buckets in the paint. Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. John Henson out there with Jermichael Green. Then there's Carter. Then it's Barrett, and it's Powell in at the two spot. That's the lineup in the game for Seattle and have to admire how hard Barrett goes. This kind of assertiveness is what makes defenders feel uneasy. Seattle shooting their first free throws of the game. free throw no good born in Toronto Barrett joins a talented group of Canadians who have entered the NBA ranks good on the second free throw now here's excellent Parker outside. That one, no good. Great tee that time from Green. Powell kicks to Green. Now Henson. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Five to shoot. Pass to Green. Over Parker. That one, a little long. Utah leading by three. Ingles the bounce pass. Mitchell's shot is good. Oh, the feed off the bounce is in just the right spot. And so it's Carter who brings the ball up for Seattle. Rebounded by the Jazz. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Here's Exum. No good on the shot. Seattle goes the other way with it. Here's Powell. Sinks that one from the post. Powell's got five points so far. No 
Well, something you never like to see, but uh, guys, he definitely looks hurt. And boy, this really doesn't look good. That, just the way it happened. I'm not a doctor, but nothing about that play screams minor injury. Obviously, he's going to be a real concern. Let's check in for Utah. Gobert, the pass to Ingles. Jazz passing it around. Exum kicks to Parker. Out to Hood. To the inside. Another shot. Parker's shot is off. Only one for five to start the half. I mean, whatever adjustments they made at halftime weren't the right. And he comes up with the deuce. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. To the right side. Henson against Gobert. Back to Exum. Pocket six. Seattle grabs the miss. Green's got six rebounds here tonight. Carter left side. There's the pass to Pop. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Hood dishes to Park. Hood deciding where to go with it. Has to go big. Carter pulls it in. Seattle with the ball. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Addition out to Powell. There at the pass to Powell. For the lead. A rebound by the Jams. Gobert's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Here's Exum. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And there's the foul against Seattle. The Jazz shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Shooting two. That's good for Nexum. A different look for Seattle. Plumley comes in for Jermichael Green, and Antonio Blakeney is subbed in for Cook. Carmelo Anthony's checked in for the Jazz. And he can't hit the second. Here's Seattle, trailing by two. Here's Powell. Here's Henson, and slam dunk by Henson. So impressive with the fortitude, the will to battle back, but it did take a lot of energy to get here. Yeah, true, but we'll see if they can keep forging ahead. For now, we've got to give them credit for coming back. Gobert can't hit. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D, avoiding fouling and, and gotten the perfect position to alter the shot. Basket, good. And it's six points for Dante Exum. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Blakeney passes to Barrett. 111 left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Blakeney. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Exum with it. He kicks it to Parker. Umley with the steal. Here's Barrett for the lead. He takes it up and lays it in. Barrett's got 16 points. They are just killing him on the interior. And so it's Exum with it. He'll bring it up for the Utah Jazz. Here's Gobert. And he drops it in from the low post. Gobert's got it all tied up now for the Jams. Oh, that's not the kind of interior defense you want. Way too slow to protect the room. Oh, yes! And the foul! It's going to be on Rudy Gobert. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Seattle shooting their third free throw shot of the game. Luwawu is checked in for Barrett. The Jazz also changing it up. Todd has come in for Rudy Gobert, and it's Crowder in for Parker. 
The free throw drops for Butler. Jazz trail by three. And here is Anthony. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Shot clock at six. Pass to Exum. A three ball. He can't get it to go. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. Seattle ahead as they wrap up the third quarter with a 13 to 5 run. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? How about the unselfishness? Night in and night out, we see guys trying to force their own agenda. Not that time. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. Moment here now for an injury report. Let's get an update on Donovan Mitchell. What's the status there, David? Hey, guys. The head athletic trainer for the Jazz let me know the status. He told me it's a sprained elbow. Now, they put some ice on it, and they're hoping that he doesn't have any inflammation. Hopefully, Kevin will be able to still see him out on the field with his team during the playoffs. Thanks for the status report there, David. At least we now know, uh, Greg, how he's doing. Yeah, well, when you talk injury, the unknown factor is always a difficult thing to deal with. Yeah, but fortunately, we know he's in good hands, so we hope to see him back on the court soon. Taking a look at the Jazz, Exum and Hood, the guards. Jake Crowder out there with Anthony, and it's Gortat in its center. And they've done some nice work as we've come down the stretch here in the final quarter. Right? And perfect time uh, but with a small lead. Uh, they're doing all they can to protect it. Now here's Anthony. Another miss by Utah. If he'd been even halfway decent today, the score would be a lot different. Look, you can't get anything to fall. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Here's Anthony. Exum deciding where to go with it. Back to Anthony. And that comes off the assist by Exum. Exum's got assist number five here tonight. Yeah, just superb focus there from Melo. Overpowering the D and still finishes. Now here's Jackson. Pass to Blakeney. Shoots over Crowder. Blakeney misses. Fantastic positioning there to contest that one. Oh, textbook defense. I mean, it took a good angle to the shooter and bothered him at least. And there's the foul on Jake Crowder. That is his first foul of the game. A different look for Seattle. Green, he's checked in for Plumlee. And it's Carter in for Antonio Blakeney. And Utah with a change here, too. Ingles is checked in. Outside, Green. Rebound, Utah. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points. But the D, just enough to keep him out of rhythm. And it's good for two. Oh, that's just the long arms of Gortat easily stretching out to gobble up rebounds. Back to Carter. Now the pass to Green. Shoots over Exum. And there's Green on the assist by Carter. And Seattle leads by five. Oh, good anticipation on the feed. Uh, he knows exactly where to go with that ball. Crowder kicks to Ingles. The feed to Gortat. Puts one up from 19. Misses off the right eye. His touch has been off tonight. And, and, and now his judgment is off too. I mean, come on. It's not a smart shot. And, and guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense was designed to create. Come on. You can't be selfish. You got to be willing to make the next pass. Otherwise, it's just predictable. Seattle leading by five. Here's Luol. Crops in the layup for two. Nice touch there near the hoop. Utah calls timeout. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. 
Yeah, they might be pressing a little and forcing some things. Dude, this is a good opportunity to calm everyone down. in good position throughout the course of this game. And that comes across in his shooting percentage. He's hit over half his shots from the field. And that's not because he got hot as much as it's because of the effort he put in to get himself open. And Craig, to play like he has under the most intense circumstances here in the playoffs makes it all the more remarkable. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alder. Hey, Kevin. Well, during the last break, I heard Quinn Snyder talking with his team. He's pleased that they're getting consistent points in the paint. He said, in this league, it's not easy to do what you guys are doing. Let's just keep doing it until they stop us. Kevin? It's Powell on the wing. Passes it to Barrett. One thirty-three left in the fourth quarter. Six to shoot. Buries it from three-point range. Carter's got the lead up to eight now for Seattle. Uh, the timing couldn't have been better on that assist. Out to the wing. Now, here's Ingles. Has to go big. Here's the three. That shot off the mark. Snabble goes the other way with it. Here's Carter. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. And it's the Jazz's ball. Eight-point game. Exum finds Crowder. Parker passes to Exum. Back to Parker. Over Plumley, And that one's good. Parker. There's no fear in this man's eyes. Parker upping his intensity and embracing the spotlight. Love it. And that's an intentional foul. This may be their most important possession. No doubt about it. As long as they don't make any major mistakes, this one's in the bag. At the line, R.J. Barrett. At the line for two. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. That's off as well, so he misses both. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Ingles dishes to Park from past the arc. Offensive rebound. Pass to Ingles. A three. Unable to get that one. And they go to the intentional foul. He 
hits the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight-point game. Utah calls timeout. They're behind by eight. Eight seconds left in the game. Guys, what's your take? Trying to keep hope alive, but but I don't see them making a comeback. Yeah, it's so important at this stage in the game for everyone to be on the same page and working together. Deep two from Anthony. The Jazz with another miss. And so it's Seattle winning this one. Just a massive victory, Greg. Maybe it's overstating it, but I think this was a game they had to have. And I don't think it's overstating it. I agree with you. I mean, going down 2-0 would have given this team a huge hill to climb. But now at one game apiece and with some momentum, this is anybody's series. Well, that'll do it for now. Glad you could join us for the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.